Hey fellow dog lovers, John McDaniel here, owner of A Better Companion In-Home Dog Training here in the Orlando, Florida area. I'm out with one of my clients today, and this time we have Lucy, a two-year-old German Shepherd. She's had a few sessions already, so we're trying to work on some more advanced type training with her. And we're getting her to sit automatically without being told as soon as I stop. We'll also work on getting her to heal and stay without me saying a word, just her follow my footwork. So Lucy's a two-year-old German Shepherd that's kind of a shy dog, but she's gaining a lot of confidence. There's a lot of distraction going around, but she's doing a great job. Check out that video right now. Sometimes left. Good girl. So we mix up how we turn. Don't don't do the same way all the time. Okay. Good girl. Good. That's a good girl. Good. Very good girl. Good girl. Stop. And without saying a word, she should sit. Perfect. Good girl. I'm gonna step up my right foot. I'm not gonna say the word, but she should know that she's gotta stay. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Always keeping this loose. Okay, we don't want any tension here at all. I'm gonna give her that praise for looking at me. Good girl. So she's sitting without me saying uh, to do so, just by the fact that I stop is an automatic command. Good. That a girl, stay. And again, she's advanced far enough along that with her, we can just show her the hand signals and expect her to do without, without having to be told. And, and the reason why we want that automatic sit is so that it conditions her that if I walk up to somebody, she can't jump on them because if I'm not moving, she's not moving. So it just breaks down all that happens. We use the commands to modify the behaviors. Perfect. When I step up my left foot, she should heal without being told. Excellent. She sits automatically. I give her lots of praise for doing that. Good. I'm going to step on my right foot. I'm not going to tell her to stay. Nope. She doesn't stay. And I'm going to correct her. Good. Try it again. And there she goes. She got it right. Good girl. And I'll praise her for giving me attention. Come back beside her. And don't always step off into the heel right away. All right? We got some cranes right behind you here she's checking out right now, so that's okay. Good girl, very good girl. That's a good girl. And again, this is the real world. This is not a dog show. So I don't mind her watching what this guy's doing. I don't mind her checking out the uh, cranes behind you. But what I don't want her to be so focused on everything else, she ignores me. So as long as she's checking in with me, then that's okay. Nope. Good girl. There you go. So she gives me that attention. I'm gonna go ahead and praise her for it. Good girl. Again, left foot to get her to walk with me. Excellent. Good girl. Good girl. Perfect. Very good. So she's doing very good with her with her healing and with her sitting automatically without being told and left foot to heal. Good girl, sitting without being told and then right foot to stay. Good girl, good girl, excellent. Very good girl. And then even down, good girl. So left foot if I want her to heal and by now, Lucy is uh, far enough advanced. I don't have to tell her to sit. She automatically sits. I don't have to tell her to heel. She just automatically does it when I step up my left foot. And I'm going to do the stay. We're always going to do the right foot first. Not going to even have to tell her to do that. Good. Very good, girl. And I'll reward her for the attention that she's giving me. If I want her to lay down, I'm just going to give her the hand signal. Good. Very good. And Lucy's doing a great job. You can hear all the distractions around us. But she's doing a great job. If you need help with your dog, give me a call.